Hello my friends, this is a little supplemental video about the Garmin uh, GPS Map 276CX, a supplemental to previous videos which I have done, because I got a, a comment from a person called Karse132. Um, you mentioned you have a setting to get a choice how to navigate. Where is this setting? So how do you define the navigation? Okay. Let's do the, take a look at this quickly. It's quite actually quite easy. So if you're in the map screen, you double click the menu button down there to get into the main menu. You go down to the setup menu and you go to routing. Um, now I have it in English. I hope this is okay for you, Kasse. Um, since I'm talking English, it of course makes sense to show this with English menus also. Sorry for not doing this earlier. So, oh, oops, I went back back here. So there is something called activity and there are different activities available. Um, the ones I'm using mostly are automobile driving and motorcycle driving. When I'm driving by motorcycle I have certain uh, wishes for navigation. For example which roads to avoid. And uh, the big ones I really want to avoid the interstates, autobahn in German maybe I should also do the major highways, but sometimes these are unavoidable. unavoidable. Um, but I definitely like to go on unpaved roads. Actually, I would like to have a preference setting for unpaved roads, but that is not implemented in this 276. I think that what is happening in the new Garmin XT, uh, it's called their adventurous routing. I guess this is preferring maybe unpaved roads even. Um, or maybe you can configure it. Anyway, so what you see here, these settings are relating to the activity motorcycle driving. If you take a look at the other activity I'm using mostly, automobile driving, and go back to the avoidance setup, you see it's different avoidances. There, with the car, I'm for obvious reasons trying to avoid unpaved roads, um, I have no idea how you should drive a car on climbing paths and uh, narrow trails can also be problematic. So whatever you choose here um, is then related to the avoidance setups. All the avoidance setups you see here, do it like, let's say it like that, are connected directly to the activity. There is also a calculation method calculated to the activity. And there you have the choices, uh, minimize time, minimize distance, minimize ascent, meaning how far to climb, curvy road. I think this comes closest to um, adventurous routing in the new ones. I think we just renamed that probably. Um, what I'm normally doing, I'm keeping that on prompted. That means um, the unit will ask me, so if I put that one now also, if so let's say it like that, if I leave it in automobile driving now, all route calculations will be now done based on the settings I see here, based on the avoidances here. If I choose motorcycle driving, all the route calculation will be done based on the avoidance setup for motorcycle driving. So the best thing is, in my opinion, to set this to prompted then you will get two questions once you start the route calculations. Point one, which activity are you uh, doing right now? Car or motorcycle in my case. And since calculation method is in the activity also prompted, what kind of calculation method should I use for that? Minimize distance or minimize time? So prompted and prompted. And that gives me the choice to use each route both by car and by motorcycle. And it will, of course, give me different routes based on the avoidances. Okay, is that answering your question? I hope so. So it's in the setup menu, routing, and then you need to choose the activity and define the settings per activity and then basically go back to prompted. Good. Okay. Bye-bye.